Very soon it'll be all eyes on the sky as a total solar eclipse will pass over the U.S., but you have to have the right eye gear to watch it safely. 2822 News reporter Gianna Gali talked with a local optometrist about what kind of glasses you need to wear, and Gianna joins us live from the rooftop of our station tonight with more. Gianna. Good evening, Nick. This is what you need to watch the solar eclipse safely. Glasses like these, and if you don't, you can do serious damage to your eyes. Many will hope to watch the total solar eclipse on April 8th. But there's something important optometrist Dr. Alan Frank wants you to know about the rare celestial event. If you're going to look at it, make sure you wear the special sunglasses that have the number 132-12-2. That code number means it's NASA and FDA approved, and it will protect your eyes from harmful solar radiation. Yeah, Best part, oh, okay. you can find them at Turkey Hill for under three bucks. I bought it as a gag gift for my husband's birthday. We're standing there and joking about it. The eye doctor who you were just talking about came in and looked at them and said, yep, these are going to be good and they're going to be safe. And they were legit. So if you're going to watch it, regular sunglasses, are not advised. Dr. Frank adds, without the proper glasses, looking at the eclipse, you'd see a small blind spot where you would have no vision. The intensity of the uh, rays of the sun can um, affect the retina of your eye and it can actually um, destroy the photoreceptors of your eyes just from a few minutes of exposure. And that could lead to serious damage. Oftentimes you can recover from it. It takes three to six months sometimes. Other times it's, um, you can't recover from it and it's permanent damage. And if you have a furry friend like Todd here, either keep them inside or put the glasses on them too. The eclipse will begin at 2.08 p.m. and will peak at 3.23 p.m. The next one is in 2045, so you won't want to miss out. And even though you'll need the glasses for most of the eclipse, there is a brief moment when you can take them off, but only for a moment. While the eclipse is happening, you should not stare directly at it unless you're wearing the special protective sunglasses. When the eclipse is total, you can look at it. It is not dangerous at that point. No. Now you look right up and you'll see that this, the, uh, the moon is blocking the sun. If you do decide to watch the total solar eclipse and notice any changes to your vision afterwards, even using the glasses, Dr. Frank advises to go get checked immediately. Nick, back to you. Todd the dog looked like it was just like a regular Thursday, like he does it all the time. So disciplined. <laughs> all right, Gianna, thank you.